Texas Southern in the maroon and white, and they'll bring it into the front court. Nice pass inside, and the extra, and a block inside. Apoku, that's what he does best. At the elbow, kick out, three-pointer, good. Offer him from the outside. Offer him, that's it. That's one of his spots, he had. Mount St. Mary's the lead here early. Nice look inside. Weather's got it. I beg your pardon, that's Walker. Poku just came back in after picking up that early foul. Back in on the offensive end for the Mountaineers. And with the left hand, got it to go. Team is about as slow as you can get, and the other team likes to move it, as Lab talked about. Good strong move to the hoop inside by Radisic Barton. Tortoise in the hair. <laughs> that's that's extremely slow. <laughs> No foul called on that. Contact as Chonku knocked out of bounds. And speaking of knocking down threes. In crunch time, they've been able to step up, show the propensity to knock down shots when it matters. And they wouldn't be here without Weathers tying the game up in the SWAC semi finals with a three-point shot. And that three goes as well. There's a quick shot from the elbow. Jordan Carl Nicholas. Sean Quee's going to try three. Got it. Yeah, that size and length. That's the other advantage of playing a little slower is you get your bigs involved. You get them touches. And just got DeAndre Thomas involved. Off the bench, he's got five. And now on the dribble. Left hand changed in mid-flight and got it to go. Jordan Gilliam. Drive on the inside. Strong move by Offrum. Keep your eyes on Gail and Alexander, number one. Well, Quee on the run. Follow is missed. Third time, the charm. Five to shoot. Walker in the paint. Got it. Nice Walker with six. Tricolate more in the middle of the floor. That's where they've had most of their success, not working off the sidelines. There it is again. That shot never had a chance. Walker swatted it out of bounds. Quick shot from 18. And down it goes for Chris Baldwin. There's a jump stop and a rejection underneath. The Poku trying to save it. And he does. Nice job defensively, and on the run, and the flush by Offerum. Offerum doing his thing on a fast break. Steve, it almost feels like Texas Southern should be out by double figures. <laughs> that three will help the cause. Weather's second of the half. Cuts it to three. Apoku back outside. This time the three goes. Josh Reeves. John Quay, quick dribble, penetrates inside to Bartone. Nice dish. Yeah, that's when the Maestro's at his best. Plain off, two feet, solid, short pass. Jumper from the elbow for Alexander. In points, down low. Taking advantage of the basket area, and that's really been their edge. There's two more. Mopoku puts that one back in he's got four gonna have to hustle he's fast enough to do it coast to coast for the little guy Go! how about that that's what he does best and that's what the coach said when it's down to six seconds we want it in his hand it's not about we it's about me i can do it <laughs> a little a little beep beeper a little road runner i love the high lift the teardrop send it up to the cloud there's a good look down low by Weathers, but the shot's blocked by Apoku. Second one goes and one, though. So they get a stop on one end, try to cut into an eight-point lead. Weathers just drives in on Chong Kui, and the follow by Walker's good. So Walker with four to start the half. Tough catch, better pass, and one again, and Apoku, another foul. First field goal of the half, and that's not going to do it. Air ball off Chong Kui's left hand. For the lead. Got it. Gilliam for three. Who did you emulate? We <laughs> talked about Isaiah Thomas, but who did you emulate? Tiny Nate Archibald. Nate Archibald. Good one. 
have only one field goal this half. Now they have two as Offram scores inside. Nicholas cross court pass, open three. Yes! Goes for Hopkins. He finally did what Avery just said. You get an open look, knock it down. That is incredible. And of course, we've done games where there weren't any fans. We've had games where there's a spattering of fans. What I love about Chan Kui's story is he shared that uh, how you respond to adversity molded him as a person yep. on and off the floor. Walker knocks down a three. Thomas lost the handle. A book who found it and scored it. Studying their games coming into uh, this first four. Oh, tough shot. And a foul. Little weave on top for the Tigers. Keep mind, Weather's been out of the game. Tigers holding their own. Hopkins misses, but Rosses doesn't. Someone that Coach Ingolstadt can trust if he's out of the game. Exactly. This is do or die. <laughs> Whoa, another three for Gilliam. He's got eight this half, ten for the game. He won trapping defense. Mountaineers are shooting two free throws the rest of the way due to that foul trouble Avery just mentioned. Here's a Poku on the inside. Nice move. I like the way he gathered his feet. Excellent footwork. Boy, at halftime when it was a 10-point lead and all the momentum was with Mount St. Mary's, it looked like the Tigers are going to be heading back to Houston early. Very comfortable offensively. Mount St. Mary's having the kind of shooting woes that Texas Southern had in the first half. Weathers backs in and scores his first basket of the second half as he took Chong Kui to the rack. And it's been two points in the last four minutes. Three-pointer goes. That's what they needed. Chong Kui provides it. Lead down to two. Walker. Nice baseline spin around a Poku. The Tigers showing some intelligence by going back to him. The hot hand. There's another hot hand. Sean Quick. I like we little, approach two minutes. Little dribble weave action into a ball screen up top. Open look for Walker. Short. Hopkins keeps it alive. The third time goes for Nicholas. And Weathers will dribble it out. Congratulations to the Tigers. They are still dancing. And so's Johnny Jones. And a sad ending for Mount St. Mary's. Their four-game winning streak comes to a close.